And Sawyer Reimers with the travel there. So West Valley has a 22 to 14 lead here. 350 left here in the half. Ian Petrov checks in for the first time for Ripley. And that's a three ball for Marcus Enzer. Marcus Enzer with a three ball. Right, West Valley's numbers blend right in with their with their uniforms. Colton Myers got the offense or got the steal, and he was fouled, so he's going to go to the lane, go to the free throw line, as he will shoot two. Colton Myers, just a sophomore, so. Young, young team here for West Valley too. Shot is missed. That's the third foul on Nathan Rogers. So that's going to hurt Coach Luder, and he's in fact going to take a timeout to talk things over with his main ball hitter. Has three fouls for the Eagles. Just a 20-second timeout, so we're going to stay here. West Valley has a 25 to 14 lead, 341 here left in the first half. Dan Spalta, Spalti had nine points to start things off for West Valley, and they went up nine nothing. There's, yeah, they were up early nine nothing. Spalti has nine to lead the way, but Mike Grigsby is in the last few points here for West Valley. As he has five. Once again, I'm Steve Fuser here for Cable Access Channel 5 out of Mayville. If you'd like to, uh, if you want a DVD of any of these games, just contact us. Channel 5 at fairpoint.net. Channel 5 at fairpoint.net. We just asked a small donation. As we are all a volunteer service here from cam cameraman to announcing crew. Here's Colton Myers. And also, you can look at us on YouTube. TV Man 3279. TV Man 3279. And Shalano has it stolen away. Other side, and that is converted by Colton Myers. So now let's see how Ripley handles this pressure. Horseman with the pump fake, and he beats the press. And now he's going to kick it back out to Kyle Hammond to start things out. There's Horseman. And he has it stolen away by Colton Myers. Myers up ahead to Spalti, and it's missed as the shot was challenged by Kyle Hammond. And that's knocked away from behind. And rejected by Kyle Hammond. As he rejected Anthony Sutton, but then Vincent Chileno travels with the basketball. As it's 28 to 14 here. Heimers and Brooks back in for Ripley. Yes. Ball team inbounds. There's Enzo. Shot is missed. But it goes off the fingertips of Sawyer Ivers and out of bounds. West Valley basketball. There's a three ball, and that's missed by Spalti. Here's Shalano. Shalano driving, but he dribbled it off of his foot and out of bounds. And he's driving the lane, Myers, and he gets followed by Jeremiah Brooks. Here you see 2.31 left here. And we got a 20 second timeout here by West Valley as Coach Jason Kearney calls it. They've had six players, both teams with six different players have scored for the team. 
So once again, I'm saying visit our visit our producers. Our regular producer uh, for Cable Access Channel 5 is Chris Burke. Visit his YouTube site. You can see all of our games that we brought to you and all their coverage by Cable Access Channel, including uh, Senior Reports with Reed Powers and uh, just different activities around the county. And that's at TV Man 3279. TV Man 3279. Or just do, you can also just do a quick search of Destination Chautauqua County Sports, and that will bring you right to us. And that's underneath. Dylan Westfall has it knocked away by Hammond, but Spalty comes up with it. And Spalty gets it over to Colton Myers. Myers is fouled by Kyle Hammond. And it's going to be two shots here for Colton Myers. Myers has three points, just a sophomore. First foul. First foul on Kyle Hammond. And first free throw is missed here. And the shot is made. So Colt Myers, four points. Now Ripley here. With handle the pressure, Shalano gets it up to Imers. Imers underneath the Brooks, can't handle it, but he does recover. Gets it to Josh Smith, and now stolen away by Colt Myers. Good anticipation, and he converts. So Colt Myers has six points all here in the first half. A good feed, Josh Smith, but a good Wow, good, as that was Dan Spalty with the good hustle to get back and steal that one. Did lose it out of bounds, but it'll be Ripley basketball. Here's Kyle Hammonds. Pump fake, shot, no good. And we got a jump ball. There's Dylan Westfall and Jeremiah Brooks tie it up, but it's gonna stay West Valley basketball. 31 to 14 here. Less than two minutes to play here in the half. No pressure here by Ripley. It's from across. Enzer, he's got a nice shot. Because that's his second bucket. He's got five points. He got nice form. We saw him out in Sherman having Pretty decent game, knocked down a couple three balls. Shalano was double teamed. He got rid of it off the defender. <laughs> you see Coach Luder talking to his young ball handler, Shalano. Here's Horseman. Gets it into Hammond. Hammond has some trouble, but he finds Horseman. Horseman, good pass underneath Jeremiah Brooks. And Brooks has his second bucket. Good pass there by Horseman. As it's a 33-16 ball game with a minute to play. Spalty misses the layup. Rebound by Josh Smith. Smith gets it to Horseman. And here's Slayer Imers here. Inside to Kyle Hammond. Hammond inside Jeremiah Brooks. Gets it to Josh Smith. Kicks it back out to Imers. To Hammond for three. Good ball movement. And Jeremiah Brooks with the rebound. Hammond underneath the horseman. Horseman to Brooks. Shot is no good. Rebound is recovered by West Valley. Colton Myers ended up with that 21 seconds left as the shot clock is off. It's Colton Myers driving, and he is fouled by Eric Horseman with 9.7 seconds left. It's on the floor. It's on the floor, so no shooting yet. 9.7 seconds. Spalty. 
kicks it out, almost stolen away, almost stolen away. Here's Kyle Hammond now. Hammond dribbling around, gets it to Horseman, back up top. Hammond shot, no good. Rebound by Colton Myers, and that's the end of the half. As West Valley's going to take a 33 to 16 lead into halftime, but hey, for the Ripley Eagles, this is the closest they've been at half all year. So I know Coach Luter will tell his kids that, and they'll keep fighting. So 33-16, West Valley boys are led by Dan Spalt. He has nine points. Marcus Enzer, their Colton Miser is six. Mike Grigsby and Marcus Enzer each have five. And Dylan Westfall and Anthony Sutton have four each for Ripley. Jeremiah Brooks and Nathan Rogers each have four, and Kyle Hammond has three. Imers and Shalano each have a pair. So that's where we are, 33-16 here at the end of the first half. We will bring you second half coverage here shortly, but we're going to take a quick commercial break. I am Steve Kieser here with Destination Chautauqua County Sports. The smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. <laughs> Take time to be a dad today. <laughs> 